Roman and Mina are healthy, active kids. They're no more injury prone than other children their age, but then again, that's not saying much. So my daughter, she's two and a half years old and um, she loves everything full of energy, wants to do everything as a big brother. Which means that she sometimes gets a boo-boo. Uh, last week she got three boo-boos all the time. She was falling and crying and we said, oh, that definitely it's the boo-boo week this week. You know, one after the other one. And as you might expect, mine is more likely to cry than her big brother is. But dad knows the perfect medicine. Most of the time, a little kiss on the, on the boo-boo, it's, uh, it's enough to, um, to, uh, to change that. And uh, she stopped crying and uh, enjoy again the game. Um, if it's bigger boo-boos, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit in trouble and then I have to call my wife <laughs> and she, she's taking care of that. For those bigger boo-boos, some emergency medicine may be in order. My girl is at the age where she loves bandage and it's fun. There's her favorite character on the bandage, so it's like a stickers actually, you know, more than something to feel better. Band-Aids don't do very much short of making sure that the wound doesn't become dirty again. But to a young child, they're magic. You put a Band-Aid on the boo-boo and things get so much better so quickly. I'm a big, big advocate. Ooh, la la, la la, la la. Put five Band-Aids on if you want to, it doesn't matter. Of course, there's more to first aid than Band-Aids. Dr. Shannon believes every parent should keep a fully stocked first aid kit at home, in the car, and at any relative's home where a child spends a lot of time. What should be in this kit? That first aid kit should have plenty of Band-Aids. It should have a bottle of skin cleanser, some type of liquid soap, something that permits you to uh, cleanse the wound. It should have antibacterial ointment, gauze, it should have tape, and it needs to have an ice pack so that if you have a bruise, some, something that's swelling, you can minimize that swelling by putting ice on it. And the more you can reduce the swelling, the uh, less pain there will be. Does that feel better? Mm -hmm. Dr. Shannon says that while most bumps and bruises won't require a trip to the ER, other injuries will. An uh, example would be when a child uh, loses a tooth, the tooth is knocked out. That is an absolute emergency. A child who has lost a permanent tooth needs to be seen. Every minute delay has an effect on whether or not that tooth will successfully re-implant. If there's ever a question, it's better to err on the side of safety when your child has had a trauma. And just make sure everything is okay.